Welcome to Barcelona. I'm here at Mobile World Congress, and today we're gonna to check out what Oppo, the fourth largest phone brand in the world, is doing with AI. Now, I know we're all sick of the term AI at this point, but Gen AI, or generative AI, has kind of become its own term. And unlike the more generic AI, there's actually some very specific, very cool use cases for it already. And it is evolving so fast that it is all but guaranteed that it's gonna be a part of your life in some fashion soon, if it isn't already, especially on your phone. Right now though, we're heading to a technology briefing with Oppo to see what they're working on. This is the Oppo Air Glass 3. These are meant to be a lightweight, normal looking pair of assistive reality glasses, as Oppo calls it. This prototype here is the lightest full color binocular AR glasses, weighing just 50 grams. And they use the Air Glass app that you install on a connected Oppo phone that is now powered by their Andes GPT, their new generative AI model. Again, tap into this to enable things like an AI voice assistant, full color photo previews, music controls, and soon translations, a teleprompter, travel route planning, and more. And they have this self-developed resin wafer and optical waveguide that allows for the least rainbow effects that most transparent displays have an issue with. It is kind of hard to show you here using a phone, but hopefully you get the idea. It looks a lot better in real life, actually. They also upgraded the speakers now, as well as added four microphones with noise canceling for better call quality and to hear you better when you use voice commands as well. And you can start to see how glasses like these will display information about people that we see, places, objects, and just kind of give us general information all using generative AI. I don't know, kind of cool. Next, we have some more recognizable Gen AI features coming to their phones, of course, like the AI eraser on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. That also uses Andy's GPT to erase items or people just by circling them, and actually works particularly well. I don't think I've ever seen something like delete a person behind a railing before, or delete this many people in a photo before. Kind of impressive, actually. Okay, now we're at the Oppo Inspiration Zone inside of the Mobile World Congress Convention Center. And here, Oppo is featuring six startups that Oppo is collaborating with, each showing off their innovations in tech. From this one that can transfer data over the body, to this one that can detect heartbeat and respiratory rates from a distance using a small countertop device. And here, they're showing off AI Motion, which is a collaboration between Oppo, Qualcomm, and Alpsyn Tech, who make a hybrid vision sensor, which can capture extra data based on when it senses something moving. And it combines that with the usual image data to enhance image quality and low light performance but it can also enable things like de-blurring fast moving objects when you take a photo without having to adjust the exposure like you would normally have to do. Also, it can create slow motion videos out of videos that are not initially in a high frame rate by adding in extra frames based on the movement that it captured with the sensor. It's actually a pretty clever way of capturing just movement data, which takes up a lot less space and a lot less processing power than capturing the entire image every single time. It's kind of clever. Here at the Google booth, Oppo is showing off some other AI features that are built into ColorOS 14, their latest mobile operating system. Now they've been updating phones to the new version since January and are expected to bring the new features globally soon. First, there's a new smart image matting feature that uses AI to allow you to crop out people, animals, or objects from an image or a pause video as well. Then we have Smart Touch, which uses AI to recognize text and images from the system, as well as images and text from third-party apps and drag and drop them into a consolidated note for easy collection. And finally, we have File Dock, which allows users to share content across their apps easily with floating windows and direct use from the dock itself. It can also automatically save content for easy access when you might need it later. And all of these features are coming to the Oppo Find N3 series globally soon. What up, bro? Oppo's now clearly jumping into the AI space full force. And they say they are fully committed to widespread adoption of AI and have even established a dedicated global AI center for R&D. And, and all of these AI features and more will be coming to their Reno 11 series and Find N3 globally soon. If you want to learn more about what Oppo is doing with AI, check that out at the link below. There you go. I am still jet lagged. And so I'm going to head out of here in a sec and crash. Good night. Come its own term now. Doesn't matter what alley you're in in Barcelona, there will be people in it. Still a city. AI. Bells. Bells. Is doing with AI.
Somebody grinding something now in a park. Cities, cities, cities. They're all so loud. Truck, please don't stop here, truck. Long, creep, and real slow, just to annoy me. I'm sure. Now a lady on the phone, and what sounds like an owl in the daytime. <laughs> Nature literally changes its plans to annoy me. Her travel route planning and more. Squeaky brakes, squeaky brakes. <sighs> My normal PSA, please oil your brakes, change your brake pads, whatever you gotta do. The world would appreciate it. It's actually a pretty, what the f Fuck yourself. Bird just dive bombed me. <laughs> or using the dock itself. What does that sound? Someone blowing their nose. Just loudly. Sound like a chainsaw. Shut up, baby. <sighs> just a few more lines left. Please, please, just everybody be quiet for a second. I'm getting a sunburn. That's how long I've been standing here.